Oh, I'm sorry. Is he here? Oh, he's here. What's up? Good. What's up? What's good, Mr. Palestina? Hey, dog. How are you? How are you doing, man? How are you? Amazing. Thank Great you so you. much. Great to see you. My dog's here and everything. Right here. Where's your mom and dad? Uh, Janice and Chris. Come here. Janice. Come here. Janice and Chris. Janice. 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 Janice, Chris. Janice, Chris. Anybody can go up the steps, you can still see it. Come on. guys, you can go up the steps. Come on, guys. What's that? You're told to take my surprise. Absolutely. That's great. Yeah. I, was like, I was hitting everyone up here who's already here. Janice, like, hey, let's meet up at the we're rolling. Oh, sure. like, Chris. Let's sure. go. Everyone's just here. It's crazy. It's crazy. <laughs> Your house. <laughs> okay. Good evening, everyone. My name is Pete Palestina, and I'm honored to be the coordinator of the Northampton Patriots Flag Program. Thanks, everyone, for coming here tonight to welcome home Jeff Fogel. This program was kicked off 14 years ago in April of 2003. And uh, at the time, I was a township supervisor. I was called to the home of one of our residents named Bernadette Heenan, who had about 12 moms at the house. And Iraq had just, the conflict had just broken out. We sent troops there. They said that we had uh, our sons and daughters were over there. Is there anything that the township could do to recognize these people? So we kicked it around a while, and we thought of how about a flag program where We'll find out what branch of service the person is, have a military flag done, put his or her name on a streamer, and invite the family. And we did it outside at our park, at the Dombowski Memorial Park, back on April of 2003. Who knew the war was going to last that long, so when the winter time came, <laughs> there was a need to save the flags from the elements. So the supervisors, and Bernadette Heenan had a flag display constructed that we took inside the building. At the time, 24 people were known. The war continued, Afghanistan took place and other hostile areas that as of today, there are 83 flags in that display. And what we said is when the person comes home, we will return the military flag and place an American flag in that display in its place. So, as we stay here today, there was only one military flag left in that display, and that was Jeff's flag. And his mom and dad came to the supervisor's <laughs> meeting in July and placed your army flag in the display. So we're here this evening. Jeff was able to make it back. He could not make it back in time for last night's <laughs> supervisor's meeting. That was probably wise, Jeff. <laughs> <laughs> very wise. Very wise. <laughs> but as we've done for uh, two or three of our uh, patriots in the past, we came to the home, and that's what we're here for tonight. So the supervisors agreed to come here. We have some proclamations to present. And I guess the first thing that we should do is return your Army flag and Chairman Barry Moore will present that to you. That's right, Jeff. And uh, first of all, I just want to say a few words. And uh, yeah, I talked to my daughter and, and I said, I want to say, say a short story. And I said, Do I have permission to do that? And she said, Of course, Dad, you should. Uh, my father was in the Army, like you, Jeff, and he was a private. And 
he fought in World War II. He came back, um, he went over to 43, <coughs> went to North Africa and Turkey and China, and then at the end of the war he ended up someplace in China. But he came back and uh, when the war was over in August of 1945, it took him until December to get back. And he actually came back on Christmas Eve. And you know, there wasn't Skype, there wasn't cell phones, but he walked through that door and my parents, my grandparents didn't know what he was coming. <coughs> and it was just a great story. And my father used to always tell that story all the time to our family. And to be honest, I never tired of hearing that story. It was such a great story, and I told it to my children. This is a special day for you. This is your day. And I, I know, I feel very confident that you'll be able to tell that children that story to your children and your children's children because you have your parents here, you have all your friends here today, you have all the people in the community, you have all these veterans. Tremendous amount of support. And we can't thank you enough, Jeff, for the contribution you made. We're very proud as an American, and you know, I just can't say enough things about you, Jeff. Here you are. Here you are. Photos. And one great thing, and Pete said it before, is that uh, we now have all American flags back on our display. So no yeah. 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 So this is the 84 U.S. flag that will be in that display. Chairman Barry Moore will be taking it back to the township building and inserting it in the proper space. I put a little yellow tag. I saw that. The, uh, I will follow up orders. So <laughs> always listen to the, Marines. Yeah. That's a good so point, there are 83 though. flags in there, and if anyone knows of any resident that's serving in hostile areas, let us know so that we can reciprocate and do the same thing for them. Okay, Andy, did you have any? There are two, two, three presentations we would like to make. The Andy first, would like to do, do one. Well, yeah. the oh, okay, you okay. said first. Okay. The, Mark, first the first one is done by Congressman uh, <laughs> Fitzpatrick's legislative aide, Vern Ryder. Vern, you're here. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> Jeff, this is the flag of the United <laughs> States of America. <laughs> yeah. It was flown over the United States Capitol at the request of the Honorable Brian Fitzpatrick, Member of Congress, proudly presented to Jeff Vogel, Army Specialist Four for the 1st Battalion, 110th Infantry, in recognition of your support and sacrifice during your tour of duty. Wow. Uh, welcome, wow. Home. welcome home. We have uh, Supervisor Eileen Silver, who's presenting on behalf of Senator Tomlinson. If I may, this is from Senator Tomlinson, who is a Pennsylvania State Senator, and he says, Thank you for your commitment to serving our great country as an Army Specialist Number 4 in the United States Army. May this certificate offered with the best, wish best wishes of the Senate of Pennsylvania serve as a lasting reminder of your achievement, and may you enjoy continued success in the future. So I would just like to personally also um, welcome you home and uh, talking to mom while you've been away and, and seeing all those great <laughs> pictures that she was sending around and everything on Facebook. But we missed you very much, and we are very happy that you are home safely. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. And next we have uh, Supervisor Larry Weinstein, who has a presentation on behalf of uh, State Representative Scott Petrie. And Scott expresses his regrets. He's sorry he couldn't be here. But he is I don't think you'd fit. I'll read you a proclamation that Scott had penned by the State House. The Pennsylvania House of Representatives honors Army Specialist for Jeffrey Vogel, 1st Battalion, 110th Infantry Regiment, for your devotion to our country and for your patriotic sacrifice at a time of great need. Your dedication to the goal of keeping America free has served to earn you the title of Northampton Patriot. You are truly appreciated by the entire community. In this world of ordinary people, you are simply extraordinary. Scott Petrie, 178th Legislative District. It is truly an honor to be able to present this to you. You make Northampton proud, and our country will be a better place when we stop looking to Hollywood, and the athletics for our heroes, because we got a hero right here. You're here. Thank you. 
Jeff, on behalf of uh, the Warriors, I'd like to welcome you home. Um, Thank you. It's an honor to be able to give you a little bit of uh, excitement in the last Yeah, night. thanks for the night. ride. That was awesome. <laughs> <laughs> It's getting a little cold out there, so we're glad you showed up when you did. <laughs> but, uh, we'd like to honor you with a few of our um, our uh, previous army men. Right on. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Really appreciate it. represents our first fruit, the star in the heavens, God we trust. White is for the purity of the cause. Red is for the blood is been shed to protect our nation. Be all a true American warrior. We appreciate yeah. you. Yeah, I'd like to do a, a, a hats off to these veterans that showed up. Uh, Cool. Yep. Some call the motorcycle riders, some call the warriors, but they're all veterans, true and blue. And this was put together literally, Janice, I guess, as far as they're concerned, 48 hours notice. <laughs> that. So, but they are there every time that you ask for them, they are there. And as I do, and as I'm sure they do, and I was telling uh, some of the others here tonight, I served during the Vietnam era and never went to Vietnam, but when I came home, I, lived, I was born and raised in South Philly. I never experienced the people spitting on me, calling names, <clears throat> and that kind of a thing. A lot of my friends did that. And I vowed that if I could ever do this, we will never forget our veterans. And that's why I love doing this kind of a thing. And welcome home, guys. Hoorah! I do have to note that two of our 82 uh, flag recipients never made it back home safe and sound. They were killed in action. And the first one was Army PFC Bobby Dombowski, Jr. And the other was Army Master Sergeant Ken Elwell. Their American flags that are in this, that display I mentioned are front and center with a black streamer that contains their name. And we'll never forget the service that they gave while paying the ultimate price. In the case of Bobby Dombowski, it was 10 years ago on May 24, 2007. And Ken Elwell was six years ago on July 17, 2011. So Jeff, it was an honor and a privilege to be here tonight. I wish you all the best. Uh, Enjoy your post once in a while on Facebook. <laughs> <laughs> but, uh, you know, stay safe. Thank God you're back. Yep. Yeah, it was all mine, Mr. Palsy. <laughs> Thank you so much. <laughs> Woo! Uh, I also give a shout out to my brethren from the Marine Corps League. They always come by at one of these things. And uh, thank you guys for. <laughs> Thank you. 
Go ahead, go ahead. Yeah. Yeah. Thanks, everyone. For Thank, you. Thank, you. Thank you guys so much. Thank you.